number 380-380. Take my hands. Take my hands and make them as your own and use them for your kingdom here on earth. Consecrate them to your care. Anoint them for your service where you may need your gospel to be sown. Take my hands, they speak now for my heart, and by their actions they will show their love. Guard them on their daily course, be their strength and guiding force, to ever serve the Trinity above. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Morning Mass is offered today for the birthday of Desiree Beldad. Desiree Beldad for her birthday. As we enter into these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah approached Joseph and said, I beg you, my Lord, tell your servant, speak earnestly to my Lord, and do not become angry with your servant, for you are the equal of Pharaoh. My Lord asked your servants, Have you a father? or another brother? So we said to my Lord, we have an aged father and a young brother, the child of his old age. 
This one's full brother is dead, and since he is the only one by that mother who is left, his father dotes on him. Then you told your servants, Bring him down to me, that my eyes may look on him. Unless your youngest brother comes back with you, you shall not come into my presence again. When we returned to your servant, our father, we reported to him the words of my Lord. Later, our father told us to come back and buy some food for the family. So we reminded him, we cannot go down there only if our youngest brother is with us can we go. For we may not see the man of your youngest brother if not with us. Then your servant our father said to us, As you know, my wife bore me two sons. One of them, however, disappeared, and I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild beasts. I have not seen him since. If you now take this one away from me too, and some disaster befalls him, you will send my white head down to the netherworld in grief. Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all his attendants. So he cried out, Have everyone withdraw from me. Thus, no one else was about when he made himself known to his brothers. But his sobs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him. And so the news reached Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still in good health? But his brothers could give him no answer. So dumbfounded were they at him. Come closer to me, he told his brothers. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you once sold into Egypt. But now, do not be distressed and do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. The word of the Lord. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them. Joseph sold as a slave. They had weighed him down with feathers, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. The king sent and released him, the ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, and without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts. No sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, Let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. So often during the day, uh, I walk around thinking of things I'm uh, angry at myself for or ashamed of or um, things I wish I had done differently or said differently. Um, uh, Times I've called people by a name, you know, their name, and then it turns out that's not their name. Um, And they didn't say anything, and I'm just embarrassed. Um, Well, um, what's hard to focus on is the good that we do. Um, It's hard to uh, think about uh, the good things we do, the the, um, unrecognized favors that um, you've bestowed on somebody who you love, Um, uh, the times when um, we have said something kind and we maybe it took some effort, but we, we actually said it and, uh, and it made a big difference. Or times that we have changed the world just ever so slightly, but it was, it, it was for a good and um, the good was received. So Jesus tells the, the disciples, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Here's God's goodness. God's goodness is in giving us his only begotten son that uh, through his cross and resurrection we will be set free from our sins. That for anyone who comes to the Lord repentantly, Lord, I have sinned, have mercy on me. Any soul who comes to the Lord, God is waiting for, uh, for our permission to allow him to shower us with his unfathomable mercy and blessings. Um, the uh, Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, uh, drive out demons. Um, I, I'm, I'm not able to do those things, but we, are able, I, we can pray, uh, pray for the uh, the, dif- the different diseases that are in our world today, the uh, diseases of um, um, you know being too busy, uh, the too busy for the Lord, uh, being distracted all the time, and we put off prayers that we should be remembering to say and and um, asking God to help us in our prayers, especially when our mind is racing <clears throat> and our heart is burdened by cares. But God helps the humble in in raising up our prayers. Um, uh, So uh, anyway, so let us stand and let us pray. The power of forgiving is a sign of God's presence among, among us. Jesus, the fulfillment of all the, the Old Testament figures, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> lived healing and forgiveness. In that spirit, we pray that the nations may learn to walk away from fear into ways of understanding. 
we pray to the Lord <laughs> that our local communities may overcome the sickness of prejudice. We pray to the Lord that Christians may acknowledge their failings and all work together to build up the kingdom, the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord for healing in our families, especially burdened with tensions and misunderstanding. We pray to the Lord. And for the sick and dying, that they may be shown how much Christ loves them, we pray to the Lord. And for the intention for Holy Mass this morning, for the birthday of Desiree Beldad on her birthday, for Desiree Beldad, we pray to the Lord. And uh, now we pray in silence for uh, all our private intentions. For these needs known to God alone, we pray to the Lord. Lord the Lord, um, Father, make us one with you always, so that our joy may be holy and our love may give life through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, dedicated to your name, purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim, holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. We have brought to you, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us turn to one another and share with love the sign of the peace of Christ. The peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion, my Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my heart. Into my heart. So, to, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the one who seeks refuge in him.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Tomorrow is the day we will have the general cleaning of the whole church. Thanks be to um, all of you who uh, weekly are always cleaning the church daily and weekly. So um, it will be a lot faster because of you. Um, And uh, there will be a lot of work going on up in the in the balcony up there, cleaning things out and reordering things. I don't know if what's going to happen with those things up there. Um, you can't see them, but I can. And um, um, we'll look at that tomorrow. But anyway, um, thanks for all those who have been working all the time and keeping the church so beautifully maintained. And uh, for those who will be coming tomorrow to help uh, to give a little deeper cleaning. The Lord be with you. The peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace. Just a reminder, so tomorrow after Mass, we will not have adoration all day. Um, uh, That always happens on Friday, but this Friday we need the special day for cleaning in the church. So um, please sing with me the last verse of number 380, 380, verse 3380. Take my hands, I give them to you, Lord. Prepare them for the service of your name. Open them to humanity. By your love, they'll sow your seed so all may know the love and hope you gave.